polish color preference. What are we surprised at? Surprised at the I'm surprised at the too, because that is absolutely not the case when it comes to sales. Pretty shocked that after was the second most cited favorite color. Like y'all are lying. I think, I'll, yeah, I think I'll make you guys two. How about two, two this year? Does that sound good? I would definitely never show you something way too early, would I? It's me, Christine, again. Data analyst simply in the house. Today, we are doing the data. That's right, we are doing the data. We are actively analyzing it. We are investigating it. We are questioning it. We are wondering about it. Deep dive, everybody. Jump in. It's the weekend. We're doing homework. Are you ready, girl? Her eyes are wide open. She's ready to explore your minds. Thank you, lovely teacher's assistant. You're my favorite TA. Thank you. It's TA Ban. So I would like to give a disclaimer. Brands, do not steal this information and use it for your own marketing purposes, okay? Don't do it. It would just be really mean and rude and cruel, and it might make me stop doing this if I find evidence of brands doing that. So, um, Sally, no. Sally, stop, actually. Sally, Sally. I fucking see you. Brands, stay the fuck back. So today we are reviewing Hollow Taco royalty data. In case you're like, what is going on? Why do people care so much about this? Hi, I like data. I have worked for most of my life as a crime statistics analyst or just generally a data analyst at Statistics Canada. I like pie charts and graphs. Actually, pie charts are the worst, but you know. And whenever we have Holo Taco launches, I love just exploring the data myself. I just like to look at it because I love it. So let me do what I love. Who wants the data? Let's fucking go! <laughs> this is more exciting than a Fortnite championship, okay? We are doing Holo Taco Royalty's exclusive input survey number one results from a survey we disseminated last month to Holo Taco Royalty members. Holo Royalty is what we call Holo Taco customers who are in the top tier of our customer loyalty program. The point was to get to know the Holo Royalty members. This is just representative of a small percent of all Holo Taco customers. And then we get to the response rate. So of those Holo Royalty members who got an email and opened the email, 67% of them responded to our survey, which is incredible. Go response rate. Guys, like Statistics Canada is jealous of this response, right? Good job. Thank you everyone who opened the email and responded. You did great. If anyone falls asleep in class, only Menchie. Only Menchie can fall asleep in class. Let's move into who is hollow royalty. So I asked just a few demographic questions. The average age is 30.2 years old. You're all 30 years old. <laughs> so the vast majority of the hollow royalty members are 25 to 34, which is my age range. <laughs> Woo, point for the old people. And then we had a gender identity question because I am very curious of the hollow royalty and just everyone overall who uses nail polish, like how they identify. So 92% identified, self-identified as a woman. Men were 2.5%, non-binary 3.8, a gender 0.6, prefer not to specify 0.8, other 0.5. Here I compared stream viewers to Hollow Royalty because I have some of this information from YouTube. But I will say YouTube has slightly different categories on this one. My categories were a bit more inclusive. YouTube just has their language. They have female, male, and user specified. It's really interesting that there was a much higher proportion of men in stream this audience than Hollow Royalty. I thought that's, that's interesting. Okay, come on men, start painting your nails more. <laughs> also, YouTube needs more categories. So this is how age of the Hollow Royalty members compares with the age of my stream audience. And the Hollow Royalty audience is definitely older than stream audience. I don't have an average age because YouTube doesn't give me that kind of data. They only give me data in exactly these groups. And I just thought it was really interesting to see that stream viewers are definitely younger. There's a much higher proportion of 18 to 24 and under 18 as well. And then it kind of flips once you get 25 to 34 and so on. Income is probably a huge variable that influences this. You're gonna have less young people with the disposable income to purchase enough Holo Taco or just like any products to be in the top tier of a rewards program. What's up next? Polish color preference. 
I am not shocked by these results. The question was, if you had to choose what's your favorite color in a nail polish specifically, over one in three of Hollow Taco royalty members said they like multicolored nail polish the best, which was code for Hollow because Hollow is life. Is it real? Hollow. What are we surprised at? Surprised at the blue? After purple, blue was the second most cited favorite color. Like y'all are lying. <laughs> I'm surprised at the blue too, cause that is absolutely not the case when it comes to sales. Blue is definitely not like the second best selling color. Hollow royalty or just probably hollow taco customers in general lean way more towards exciting colors and shades on their nails. They're not looking for a shade that is the kind of more mundane, accepted, polished to wear in society that like an etiquette lady would tell you is acceptable. If you know who I'm talking about, you know. So Hollow Royalty loves purple. Aside from Hollow, purple was the top fave shade. These are all Hollow Tacos purple shades that we have currently, and they look so good together. I'm just like, yeah, we have a lot of purple. Let's do more. <laughs> So in conclusion, we need more purple, right? I think that's what the findings say. Yeah, I think I'll make you guys two this year at different times. How about that? How about two, two more purples this year? Does that sound good? I'm not surprised that yellow is the lowest. Brown, also not really shocked there. Orange, not shocked. Gray, not shocked. Red, shocked. Red? Why is red so low? Like what? I guess Hollow Royalty is just so different from the average nail painter. Two in five, 39% of Hollow Royalty members participate in my Discord. There's so much activity on the Simply Analogical official Discord servers talking about what's coming next, comparisons, Hollow Taco detectives doing like detective work and totally piecing shit together from things that I've said everywhere. Yeah, the fact that most people in the Hollow Royalty group are missing out on what's going on in Discord, I think is like, I think should be noted and mentioned that in case Hollow Royalty is watching this stream and they're not in my Discord, I'm not just self promoing my Discord. Okay, my Discord is free. I don't get money for people being in it. You only have Discord for this. <laughs> yeah. Shout out to the Discord. Good job, guys. You guys are amazing. We love you. And uh, Hollow Taco Royalty, who's not in there, you're missing out. Just saying. Okay, the the link is somewhere. The link is the link is here. <laughs> the link is below. This was the shocker. This is the shocker. Shocker. Shock. Shocking news incoming. Data point important. Over one third, 36% of Hollow Royalty members said that they do not participate in any social media groups specifically about Simply Analogical or Hollow Taco related conversation. What? That's so big. I can't imagine a world not participating in social media groups related to product or something that I'm so interested in. The question was, which Hollow Taco or Simply Analogical related social media groups are you a part of? Being a part of a group means either having joined a group and chatted or joined and became an active or occasional lurker. So this includes lurkers and still 36% says, I don't participate in anything. Maybe it has to do with age because we do know they're a bit older or maybe it has to do with them just like not really knowing that's around or maybe they just don't care to talk to other people <laughs> and they're just like, just give me my nail polish. I just want to paint. They must mostly rely on emails. Yep. Yeah. But I think these might just be the type of people who are just like, I don't care. You know, I'll just I'll get the email when I get the email and I'll shop when I want to shop and it is what it is. Next slide, Hollow Taco Shades owned. Huge disclaimer, this is just about Hollow Royalty members. In order to classify and get into that category, would have had to spend $500 in the previous 12 months to have been placed in this category. So obviously the outcome of these results is related to their purchasing behavior. Obviously they're gonna own a lot of Hollow Taco. Noted, we know this, you don't need to tell me Obviously, just because you spent a certain amount a year, maybe you just bought a lot of only linear hollows. Maybe you bought a lot of like just a bunch of top and base cuts. You know what I mean? Like you can get in that category without having purchased all polishes that were released in that year. When I say number owned, I don't mean the number of bottles. I mean the number of shades. So if you have seven lemon suckers, you only count lemon sucker once. <laughs> no one owns seven lemon suckers. It's I'm just giving an example, a ghost. What is this lemon sucker slander? Maybe someone does. You just hurt their feet. 21% own everything <laughs> and everyone else is jealous. That's what the results say. I know, I know, I know, I know. Do not attack them. 
Also, I acknowledge how strange it seems that 4.2% say they own less than 30, yet they are Hollow Taco royalty. You buy with a couple of friends, that's why you're royalty with only 44 polishes. Excellent point, Sigrid. So a lot of international customers do like to do that. They will group up orders, and that's how maybe one account gets the benefit of being in, in Hollow royalty. Wow. Underlying key findings of this is, uh, is thank you. All of this means that so many people have been incredibly supportive towards me and the Holo Taco brand and just your excitement for Holo Taco and everything we do. Every release always, you know, I'm just incredibly thankful and grateful. So it's not lost on me that, you know, this means people have spent a lot of money on nail polish and I know not everyone can and this isn't trying to make people feel bad. I just want to put that out there. This isn't at all intended to make people feel like bad or less than because they like didn't buy everything. I am just generally interested in the data and I would like to, you know, take this opportunity to, to give thanks and appreciation to those who did do this. Uh, I know it's not everyone. It's okay. It's okay if this is not you. It's all good. I understand. You know, you gotta live your life. You gotta, you gotta pay for school. You gotta pay for rent. You gotta do life things. And we still, we love you. I just, I love you for hanging out on stream with me. Thoughts on making a polish center? I'm looking into it. I am, I'm looking into like everything that everyone says, basically. You could ask me if I'm looking into to building like a robot to paint nails. And I'd probably be like, I'm looking into it. I want to remain a machine. But I'm no deviant. What did I do? Okay, now people will think that's a hint. That's not a hint. <laughs> the next slide is about the favorite formula. We asked Holo Taco royalty members, what's your personal favorite full coverage formula that Holo Taco has released? Number one by a landslide was Linear Holographics. Linear Holographics was one of the first full coverage formulas that we came out with that was like a huge hit. So that was the OG Rainbow Collection. And people absolutely love the formula. It's incredibly full coverage, super opaque, and the hollow flare is extremely strong for a linear hollow. And I think the other reason why it's a favorite is not just like formula-wise it applies so well, but Linear holographics in the drugstore are not that common at all. So I think people were just like impressed. And it comes off easily. Holographic glitters, which is like our chunkier hollow glitter formula with three different sizes of hollow glitters in a jelly base, sometimes tinted, came in second. No surprise, because for similar reasons, I feel like a lot of people really love our formula specifically for hollow glitter because it's so packed that you get full coverage in two to three coats, depending on the shade. And in third place, we have Frosted Metals. Frosted Metals, from a sales perspective, have not done that well. We discussed at the end of the 2021 sales data stream that Cold Shoulder, one of the Frosted Metals, the blue one, sold the worst of all polishes Holo Taco came out with that year. And as a result, it was discontinued after being in the catalog for almost two years. It wasn't the only one on the lowest seller list. I think Gift Receipt, which, which is the silver one, was also on the lowest. And if I recall correctly, Cheap Champagne as well. I love this formula. You need to see it in real life. And in the shade, it kind of looks best, which is the opposite of Holo. But I was super happy to find out that Holo royalty members voted it as their third favorite formula. <laughs> so basically, overall, Frosted metals sell poorly, they just do, but Hollow Royalty really fucking loves them. <laughs> Nail break. Ooh, what do you think? This is a gradient from the pastel linear hollow to the OG rainbow linear hollow shade to the new dark rainbow shade on the tips. They look like candy. Like I want it, do not eat the nail polish. Pink one's my favorite. So that's Pink Fizz Magenta Jelly Dead Petals. I think the orange looks really nice for fall. Like I feel like you could do your whole manicure like that. The red is a little, like the red is super strong from the OG, so it's very bright. But I think the orange really works for like a pumpkin-y look. I also think the green looks so, uh, look at me like saying everything but the yellow. <laughs> Bias! Long story short, frosted metals are bae. And you will only know this if you own them. <laughs> Let's move on class. Next slide was creme polish interest. We asked Holo Royalty members, are you interested in purchasing Holo Taco cremes? The options being yes or no. The vast majority, 95% said yes, they are interested in purchasing Holo Taco cremes. Okay, okay. 
I think it's really interesting that like almost everyone minus 5% in the Holo royalty said, yeah, bring on the cremes. I'm interested in purchasing Holo Taco creme. Now, I don't want to let that data point be misconstrued as we're gonna replace Holo or specialty formulas with cremes. Absolutely not. My intention is still very much focusing on unique quality specialty formulas, whether it's Holo or, you know, glitter, or, or magnetic or frost metal or like, you know, like other things like that, like shimmer, iridescent, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Okay, calm down, detectives, calm down. <laughs> the next one is the Holo Taco display rack. So you own a lot of Holo Taco. Would you be interested in purchasing a Holo Taco themed display rack for your bottles? It would sit on a flat surface and be self-assembled. 81% of Holo royalty members said they'd be interested in purchasing a Holo Taco themed display rack. I don't know what that is on the slide, but it looks pretty cool. Kind of looks really cool. I would definitely never show you something way too early, would I? I'm definitely not in trouble if anything goes wrong in supply chain. Definitely not in trouble, nope. Oh my God, I'm fired. I am getting fired right now, actually, right now. I'm getting, I'm getting fired, goodbye. Goodbye, everybody, I am goodbye. simply fired. Let's continue. To the biggest controversy of all, it's Midnight Spark, okay? You blue people. Let's settle this. Is Midnight Spark blue or purple? More than one in two, 56% of Hollow Royalty members said they think Midnight Spark is blue. They are wrong. Mm. This is very significant. Notably less than half, 39%. Think we can all agree in peace and harmony. <laughs> Yo, that's hilarious. I can't with this, with these results, I just can't. Results may be influenced by respondents deliberately voting against Simply's public opinion. In other words, they are trolling. The whole chart is the same color, guys. That's the joke. You should laugh now. Mods, ban every blue heart in the chat. No, ban the whole chat. Ban the entire chat. All of them. Goodbye. Why are you super chatting in blue? Listen to your teacher. What the fuck is this? Is this what you do in class? This is what you do to your teachers? You fucking scream out the wrong answer? You're gonna get expelled. Do you wanna get expelled? I just expelled you. I wanna know, would you watch another data stream like this? 3% said no. <laughs> you know, that's fine, that's fair. Next question. Do you have experience with collecting, hold on, let me specify, collecting or analyzing? data specifically. Influencers are so annoying. They keep shouting makeup codes at me. Stop shoving that shit down my throat. But this one, Simply Nail Logical over here, keeps telling me to like learn pivot tables, okay? Let's check the results. Oh my God, I didn't even write the fucking question right. <laughs> Do you have experience with collecting or analyzing data? 55% of you said yes. Let me know in the comments after this VOD is over what kind of questions you think would be interesting to ask and I will consider them and incorporating them into the next few surveys. Thank you data nerds and I will see y'all later, bye.